depending on how big of a body of water you have to work with, you can modify this. But I'm going to show you how to have a very small pool today. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit winded. I'm at a really high altitude and I'm walking uphill. We're at Pikes Peak in Colorado, in Manitow Springs. And um, so for your water workout, um, having goggles is essential and having a swim cap is really good to have. But my swim cap broke today. Wow. Oh no, it ripped. Swimming is incredible for toning like the most amazing looking arms. So if you don't really like lifting weights, um, doing a nice swim is a great way to tone up your arms without having to do that. And my, um, when I trained for my triathlon, I was barely lifting at all. So, and my arms looked really, really good. Um, and it was all from the swims. You, um, you sculpt some beautiful muscle by doing that. And uh, so that's just a tip. You might wanna start picking up swimming for your arms. Just remember that anytime you're doing any kind of a workout, um, whether it's in the water or a sprint or whatever it may be, for your last one, you always wanna go the hardest. Get ready, this is gonna look super cool. I'm just gonna swim this like I did um, with the sprints that I ran. You can do this in inclines like I talked about in that video, which I'll put a link to here, or you can just do um, sprints and stop. If this pool was longer, I would probably do laps, like just a ton of uh, back forth, back forth for a while, but I wanna get, I don't wanna do a ton and I wanna get the most out of it possible, so I'm gonna do some sprints. Okay, so, super awesome goggles going on. Did that really look sexier? I don't think so. Basically, you're just gonna go, I'm just gonna swim to the end. Like I really brought my heart rate and my metabolism up because if you can bring your metabolism up first thing in the morning, then you burn fat. Anyway, here I go. A tip on swimming. When you're going, you want to um, draw your arm back. Look front. Be kicking your feet and be looking. I love it with the water. If you want goggles, you can just buy them at the local sporting goods store like Sports Authority or Dick's or whatever you have near you. Okay, so as you can tell, whew, I'm winded. That was a good sprint. So six is good. I'm gonna turn the camera off now because you get the idea. But um, just do a bunch of those and you'll be set up for the morning beef fat burning before you even do anything else. So that is your video on how to work out with an indoor pool or a body of water for a swim. Subscribe here on YouTube for more videos like this. I'm going to be doing, this is like a series, so there'll be different places that we go uh, where I'll cover healthier foods to eat, healthier snacks, and then there'll also be other workouts for you to try, and then just plain vlogs for fun. So, we're going to head up this trail to Pikes Peak that'll be in one of the vlogs coming soon. Um, make sure that you like my page on Facebook for uh, to get these videos weekly. Um, you can find all the photos that I'm taking on this trip on Instagram at Steph Hendel and um, on my website stephhendel.com. I have a weekly newsletter that goes out with um, exclusive content that you can only get right there. So you can sign up for that on my website. And other than that, go after your dreams. Go after a, a big workout, whatever it may be. Go do it today. Do it the best that you can. And uh, go do something nice for someone else too. Ooh, giving back. Love that. Gotta go. Otherwise I'm gonna trip and fall on my face like I almost just did.